hey everyone and welcome back to my channel so today is all about sweet peas and i'm going to show you how we can draw sweet peas in different different perspective and it's quite simple even if you are a beginner it's quite easy for you to follow and it's the month of april so i thought sweet pea flower would be the great exercise for us in today's video i'm going to show you how we can draw sweet peas flower with simple pen pencil and eraser i'm using this simple ball pen but you can use anything fancy if you want to and we can start with the exercise so let's do it so when we talk about flowers generally we get something uh simpler like this having ovary in the center and petals throughout covering that particular ovary something like that i have already created multiple videos around how we can draw different perspective of simple flowers but when we talk about sweet peas it's quite different because it has very different structure as compared to the normal flower and it does not has any defined shape and size sometimes we do have but it's easier as compared to the normal flower having more rules and regulations in it so draw something like this an oval kind of shape having pointed end in different different angles so i have created these 5 to 6 oval shape in the different direction as you can see so the pointed end is the lower section of the petal and the oval or curve kind of shape is the upper section of the petal so consider this is the one petal and this is actually guiding us how we want our petals but we need little curvy petals so just move your pencil uh left and right to get little rough edges into the petals so likewise you can draw petals in different different direction so this is the simplest one you can keep your petals like this now if you want to add little bit curl into this particular petals you can add more structure inside it like for example i have added a triangle kind of shape for the first one and this is tilted towards the left side right side those kind of things you can define while adding these curls so create a petal a simple petal then define some structure some rough edges into it and then you can also define your curls like this now this is about single petal but what if we want to create a group of petals right so let's add more petals which is hidden from the front petal so you can add anything like this like i'm doing you can create one left petal right petal which is hidden from the center petal something like this to create a group so now this is the basic of how we can create petals now i am going to show you different perspective of uh, sweet pea flowers and i'm telling you you can create 100 variation out of it today i'm going to show you few and i'm going to create all this randomly without copying anything from anywhere so we need a guiding line or guiding curves to create our flowers so my first perspective is something like this for the second perspective i'm creating one big oval shape at the front and one more oval shape towards the left side so these two are different as you can see now let's assume we have three petals one smaller and two bigger at the downward direction so this is the third one i'm doing it randomly so you can do it as per your need now let's create three more so let me create one at the center and then one tilted towards the right side and in the downward direction now let's create one more at the center then maybe two more towards left and right 
you can have one smaller one bigger those kind of variation you can do you can keep your petals towards left side right side center whatever you like to now as you can see for the last one i did the same thing what we did in the first one but we are going to create two different perspective out of it so this is the guideline for us a guiding structure for us now we are going to give it a sweet pea flower shape so what we are going to do with the help of ball pen i'm going to restructure redefine all these flowers you can use pencil as well if you are not comfortable doing it directly with the pen but for now i'm using pen directly now as we have learned we need a little curves shape for the petals so i am adding those kind of shape into my petals so this is my first petal now let's add another one for the second one i need little bit of curl so i'm adding this triangle kind of structure inside it so it will look like it is tilted towards the left side we can add one more petal behind this bigger petal so that we can create a group of petals here and that's done now let's rework in the second one so i'm again adding a uh, more defined structures into my guiding area then i'm adding more curls into my petal this is tilted towards the downward side and let's create a smaller petal and then create one more petal which is hidden from the front petal and one more petal so this is the group of three petals and one petal creating a single flower so that is something we need to repeat in every flowers that we have now let's talk about this one we are having two bigger petals one smaller petal at the center and you can also add a little bit of curl in the left and right petals or maybe in the center totally up to you you can define your own shape when it comes to the sweet pea flowers i think you can add your imagination into it and do whatever you like to do to get something like this now for the this one i'm adding one more smaller petal hidden around the bigger petals and this one i can create one more petals again and maybe you can also add a little bit of curl if you want to i'm not adding anything for this one now let's talk about this one so i'm adding a smaller petal one petal is hidden and two bigger petal so this is the group of three petals but one petal is having curl in it so you can define these things easily as per your need as per your choice or you can also google it to get more shape uh, about sweet pea flowers right so it's quite simple as you can see our first and the last guiding line was similar but as you can see we have created a very different structure when it comes to perspective now we're done with the flowers but we need a sepals what are sepals sepals is the fine fine green structure which is at the base of the flower so as per your perspective you need to define these sepals and a stem so this particular one is the center perspective so we can add a little bit of sepals around or in between each petals this one is tilted towards the right side so all my petals sorry all my sepals are towards the left side now this is again a center kind of shape so i'm adding sepals in between all the petals and then maybe one stem for this one let's add one more petal i guess and then sepals at the bottom and one stem so likewise you can create many many different perspective now we can beautify this flower a little bit if you want to so you can add the lines and dots around the edges or throughout the center so something like this you can do but the basic agenda for this particular video is to learn how we can draw different perspective of sweet pea flowers so that we have already learned it right so you 
now you can repeat these kind of things what i'm doing as of now for all the flowers if you want to now let's rub the unwanted pencil marks that we have in all the flowers now it's time to add a uh, flower birds maybe or maybe how you can compose sweet pea flowers so let's add the bird first so i'm adding an extended stem in the flower then i'm adding fine fine sepals and one flower bird having little bit triangle kind of structure you can say and then you can add vines into it and you can add leaves also let's add one more flower in this particular one so i'm again using my uh, guiding line to create flowers you can add vines you can add flower birds you can add leaves so these things you can do while composing all these flowers so create all these flower and compose one structure for yourself because in the next video i'm going to show you how we can paint sweet pea flowers with different different techniques i'm going to show you three to four techniques to paint this flower so it's quite simple to paint as well but first learn how we can draw this flower create your own flower create your own composition and be ready with your composition uh, using pencil because in the next video we are going to learn how we can paint those flowers with different different techniques so i'm hoping this video is helpful for you guys and do let me know if you have any feedback for me any questions for me and thank you so much for all your love and support and thank you so much for watching